course we have the engine with uh, the Electromax 250 alternator with um, external rectifier. Over here is our starboard settee. Starting from front to back, we've got our North Star start battery um, that handles the uh, starting, of course, as well as the, uh, the windlass. We've got our main distribution panel. The um, port side is our start battery. Starboard side is our house batteries. House one, house two. Um, here we can see the, uh, the 8236 with shunt shifter um, alternator shunt monitoring shunt. The, um, this wire coming in here is the four out wire from the Electromax alternator, then the shunt leading to an ANL 400. Um, also, you can see here trailing the ANL 400, that wire right there leads over to our DC to DC charger. Um, which immediately begins charging the house, the uh, the start battery, um, upon uh, current from the alternator, upon detection of current from the alternator. That also acts as our um, as our backup, our current backup per se for uh, for our lithium batteries. So, for example, for some reason our battleborns decide to uh, to shut off, the uh, alternator can still feed power to the uh, to the uh, start battery there. Okay. Here we have our two Battleborn 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Yeah, those have been in the boat now for uh, for three years. They went absolutely beautiful. We got a uh, Victor Multi Plus 3000 watt inverter. Again, the Orion Smart Charger. Shot. Now, due to the um, due to the very shallow shallow. Um, bilges in our Ericsson 38 I actually had to run the uh, the four out power cables from the alternator and the ship's ground outside of the uh, outside of the bilge and I ran it through hose the um, and you can see that running through through the head and over here you can see our the charge controller as well as the uh, the shunt that comes with the char that came with the charge controller. Of course, we can see the uh, the uh, alternator wire here, as well as our four out ground here. Now, this is in addition to a one out a one out ship's ground that uh, was installed when we purchased the boat. I left it connected as well. Okay, and then um, typically I've got the uh, the comm unit mounted up here. Um, it's not installed right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to give you one more piece of information here. Um, currently, the system is drawing seven and a half amps out of the batteries. Yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like to fire up the microwave for 30 seconds, and then I'll repeat that test under load um, so we can see how the alternator scales to it. So I'm going to fire up the microwave now, which is uh, the uh, I've got the shore power disconnected. So this is specifically running off um, the multi-plus we go full power yeah make sure I'm gonna back it down to 80% since I don't have the all now eh, let's leave it at 100 here we go 100% okay. here we go you can see it's drawing in addition to the seven amps that were coming out before, we're pulling out another 160 amps. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that off, just so you can see. And nothing from the alternator yet. Obviously, the engine's not running. Let's go ahead and shut this off. Off. Let's see. Okay, my love. May we please start the engine?
Okay, let's let's power it up to idle poop. Now she's just powered it up to 1250. Um, I believe that's actually going to be 1500. We'll put a laser on the uh, on the meter here on the uh, flywheel. are charged so Seven fifty. 